Today's episode is presented by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network. Guys, are you ready for an honest trailer commentary? Oh my God. Yes! Here live at Screen Junkie Central in San Diego, Joe Spencer. How crazy is this? This is nuts, man. Should we watch an honest trailer with the people behind the movie of one of the honest trailers we did? I guess we could. How about Deadpool? Yeah. That was a big one for us. And I'm so happy to announce that we have the director of Deadpool, Mr. Tim Miller! Tim Miller, bravo, sir! Oh, no, thank you, sir. <laughs> We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Also from Deadpool, he played Colossus. Step by Stefan Kapicic! Come on in! Woo! Woo! Colossus! Здравствуйте. Guys, he's the creator of Deadpool, X-Force, and so many amazing things. Mr. Rob Liefeld! Oh. Wow, this is so cool. All right, guys, thank you for coming, guys. Thank so you for having we're gonna, us. We're, we're going to watch us. the Honest Trailer with a huge room, and we're going to sit here a little worried, yes? A little awkwardly. <laughs> well, we were nice on this one. You were. You were totally nice. Yeah. Totally. Maybe My kid, who loves your nice. show, came to me and said, Dad, Honest Trailer's to Deadpool, and they, they liked it. Oh, <laughs> and we don't like anything. You don't. <laughs> Well, before we watch, I'm curious, had you, have you guys heard of it? And Because we sort of made this joke that you ripped off our, in the intro, of uh, the honest <laughs> intro. You didn't. Great minds think alike. But did it ever come across? Was there any sort of honest thought before the movie started? You Maybe know, before? this is a leading question, because he knows the answer to this fucking question, right? <laughs> right? Are there, if, first of all, if there's kids in here, I apologize in advance, because I... Yes. 21 and over. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah! yeah. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> yes. If, if Ryan was here, that would be meaningful. But uh, yeah. So we had this. We had two ideas. We had two honest trailer ideas. Was one was I said to Fox, why don't we send the script to the honest trailer guys before we make the movie, so they could tell us everything that's wrong <laughs> before, and then they would be complicit in like anything that was fucked up. They would say. They would have to like own it on some level. Um, and then they would see how really cruel and vicious they are with their <laughs> little trailers. And then secondly, when we did the, uh, we were doing the, the credits at the end, we had one pitch that was, we were gonna do our own Honest Trailers version of our movie credits, which was pretty awesome. We were gonna recap and pick out all the stupid shit we had done <laughs> and mistakes, and uh, just like Honest Trailers does. Leave that to the experts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we, I want to get, let's just watch, and all of you, I'd love you to chime in. We have some leading questions we'll ask as we do this, but I think we should start the trailer. Let's, let's roll see. it. Let's roll the trailer. We'll, we'll pause and start as we go and ask some questions. If you would like to pause at any point, just say pause. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what it was like. Pause. The same actor in studio responsible <laughs> for this comes the film that might finally let us forgive them for this. Pause. Can we pause? Pause. pause. Rob. Rob. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I was with my family in the theater, and I'm like, well, I had heard rumors how bad this was, but I'm like, I'm so I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best, right? Uh, I know Jim Lee went and saw the night it opened because he was going to see Gambit, uh, and I got to see Deadpool. Uh. Like, you're like, wow, you wildly missed on both horribly. Cyclops' eyes? Like, What? <laughs> And I'm like, oh, that's how you get his black eyes. It burns into his, oh, it's so bad. And I left a note for the Fox execs six weeks before this, a guy named Alex Young. And I said, dear Alex, I've heard horror stories about this. It's not too late tomorrow to go to a soundstage and have a guy in shadows come out with a sword, make a nice Deadpool mask, and say, I'll be back next time. Like, to, to make up for what I hear is awful. And I think they're like, oh, 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 oh Rob, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Was that fine? No. I just no. want to say that, uh, you know, it's Colossus. I, don't, I cannot recognize Scott Summers. You know, it's like, <laughs> he changed. He's he looks like guy. Ryan Reynolds, kind of. knock off Scott Summers, yeah. It, it hurt as bad as you thought it did. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Ryan must have, that must have been conversations of this is totally, gotta be the opposite. Ryan was so scarred by this experience. I mean, 
this and Green Lantern, it was just oh. the whole, yeah, I know, I know. And it wasn't even his fault on Green Lantern. He, he, yeah, he was, that was good in Green Lantern, yeah. But no, he, he had, he, it was like therapy for him doing Deadpool because he only did this role and he knew it was fucked up the whole time <laughs> only because he wanted to get a chance to do it right the, the next time. Yeah. So All right, well, he knew. Let's, he knew let's keep going. Sucked. Let's see what else we did. Deadpool. Captain Deadpool. <laughs> Suit up for the R-rated film that you had to be 17 to see, but 16 to fully appreciate. Hashtag drive. In Fox's hugely successful comic book movie that never would have been made if someone behind the scenes didn't fearlessly leak the test footage. And even then, still oh, never would have been made. Who oh, leaked all right, it? Which one of you did Who it? Who leaked it? <laughs> I came later. Is it someone who rhymes with Schmim Schmiller or Schmob Schmeifel? That's right. We I wish know. I had the we guts. Didn't know Stephanie. Yeah, w Rob. Like, d did you happen to see like Rob? I showed Rob like months before, and I see like a month after Rob comes by the studio, and the the teaser is like two and a half minutes long, and I see Rob describing at some panel that I was trying to help. It was fuck this nine minute test with like action and people dying and destruction, and I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? He's crazy. It was like two and a half minutes. Um, but anyway, I did not leak the trailer. Ryan did not leak the trailer. Nobody that... Someone did. Someone did. Right, someone that, they did. Someone I, like, I like that there was a high-res version immediately. <laughs> so, oh, that, that was our fault. That, that, that came from... Oh, let that, me help. No, so <laughs> what happened was somebody filmed it and leaked it, and then as soon as it leaked, the, the Fox security people call me and they say, hey, this, this leaked. And I said, I don't know anything to do with it. And they said, it's coming from your server at Blur. <laughs> And, I, and, and then it was, it was a leak that we had sent to agents, of like Ryan's okay. agent, WME, people like that. And as soon as it leaked, somebody just sent out the, the link, the secure link to a high-res version on our server. Okay. So that was, all, that here's, was my fault. Here's what I've never disclosed. It's, it's, it's something you're aware of, but this Wolver the Wolverine Origins, do you guys remember that leaked a month yeah. early? Yeah. Yeah. And they went and knocked on that lady's door and arrested her. Yeah. Like, and, and so I was at Fox, like, you know, 2011, 2012. That's why you will never know who leaked this trailer. <laughs> and, 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 and an exec there, an exec there who I will not name, but he's a great guy, he said, oh, Rob, we've got crack. Like, we have the best technology. We can pinpoint exactly the leak. And I was like, when this leaked, I'm like, oh, I just, I hope they don't go to Tim's door and arrest him. Like... <laughs> He's got to make the movie, right? I didn't leak it, Rob. Didn't well, that's leak it. And, Allegedly. And, and, yeah, no, no, no. And because, because he wasn't arrested, we know he didn't leak it. Yeah. Because yeah. well, they, they would have known, is what you're yeah. saying. They, yeah. They, yeah. All right. So it's clear. They're very All proud right. of the fact that they arrested that lady in her apartment. You know, in the Deadpool, the, the script leaked, too. I had read the script for Deadpool before I was on the movie. Now, every, you guys know that. That happens. It, yeah, it was, Ryan Reynolds, Captain Jack Sparrow. That's what one of the websites said. Back when that was That's a compliment. A weird, that was a compliment. Universe. That was a compliment in 2010. That was a compliment. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Good <laughs> clarification. Let's keep going. We uh, want to try and If see fans hadn't demanded Fox grow up here and release the entire movie, watch as this accidental hit outgrows Thor, <laughs> I mean, this Captain is crazy. America, The Amazing Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, every X-Men movie, every and X-Men Every X-Men movie. Every X-Men movie. Holy crap. Deadpool? No. It's Rhythm Nation era Janet Jackson. Yeah, I'm motherfucking Deadpool. <laughs> wow, you're showing up in your own honest trailer? That is so meta. Let's do this. Meet Wade Wilson. Now, this is Ryan's voice. Does he do this on set the whole time? Like, his epic. He seemed Every to be very proud of day. it. A, a hooker escort with a heart of gold. When cancer sends Wade into Weapon X's non union equivalent, he'll turn into Deadpool, a wisecracking, indestructible psychopath Stop. who Pause. will do anything. Yes, Colossus. Thank you for that hit. It's <laughs> a great hit. Enough. Go. Back. Except talk to her, which would have been way too easy, causing the movie to end in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Instead, Pause. follow along on right. That, that's a plot hole, right? He could have yeah. just been like, hey, I had this thing with my face. Do you still love me? No, he would still have to go get Ajax, so fuck you. It would not. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. I walked right into that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best guy, I, but I, was the I will best. admit, look, I, you know, everybody reads the, the I, you read what people are talking about and everybody said, yeah, the villain plot was really weak. And I t totally agree. Mm. I to you can't, you can't go, yeah, well, you don't understand what it was. No, it's weak. The villain plot is weak. 
He's got to be fucked some Ajax up. fans out wait, there. Fuck. Oh, no. no. Look, wait, wait, wait. I'm not I saying disagree. Ajax was weak. Ed was, he was a fucking stud. He was great. Um, yeah. Yeah. Man, I disagree. I think it's just a simple story, and that's why it works. It's a simple grudge match. The whole movie is a grudge match. There's a difference between match. simple and simple, Rob. I think. <laughs> I didn't direct this, it. This is, this is, this is simple. Um, it was, I take full responsibility. At least it's not a sky beam, like a big blue beam <laughs> in the sky. It's a, go- it's a swirling garbage yeah, thing swirling in the sky. Garbage. Yeah, okay. Let's keep playing. As this immortal Tucker Max battles villains that pose no real threat to him. Full of my signature fourth wall breaking. I think Ryan Reynolds got this far in his superior acting Were there like method? quotas of how many Ryan Reynolds jokes you could do? Nothing no. compares no. to you. Sinead O'Connor, 1990. Whatever felt right. Dick jokes, then you can How about quota for dick jokes? <laughs> we already did too many dick jokes. <laughs> No? No. Can you do too many dick jokes? Another episode of Family Guy. You're about to be killed by his do, do you take the comparison to Family Guy as a compliment or not? I do. Okay, good. Compliment. Oh, okay. I, I can Four seasons. Four seasons still good. For a story that, much like its hero, wants to have it both ways. No. No. Where they will beautifully make fun of all the superhero genre's cliches while giving you the same old conventional love story and a by-the-numbers revenge plot we've seen a million times before. Oh, simple... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Simmer down there, Big boy, by the numbers, Deadpool is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. Yeah. Except yeah. for Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Everyone is sucking my dick now. And you sure as shit should be too, you back-ass twaddle fuck. And what the fuck is with these beeps? You know, kids watch these videos, Mr. Pool. Kids fucking love it when I curse. Shit, <laughs> bag, turbo boner. Man, that felt good. Look, the only reason I'm even Wait, here is so to promote I, Deadpool, which is now out on Blu-ray and DVD. Blah. When the ad libs for Ryan, like how, because we had to write, we wrote that for Ryan and tried to write it in the voice, which we were so honored he accepted and thought it was in the tone. But like ad libbing with that on set, was there was there a lot of it? Like was was it all scripted? Uh, I would say that we shot the script first always, but then Rhett and Paul, the writers, were there every day. And they and Ryan would go through and they'd write alts and we'd do them. And sometimes, you know, you'd get the occasional thing that you'd sneak in, like... But would he be like, soggy dicklin? Yeah. No, let's mm, do no. better. Uh... Whale cum gargling <laughs> spunk bucket. Yeah, yeah but... <laughs> yeah, okay. But you know what? Ryan's got, like, a, an encyclopedic memory of... Like, the, if the, like Eskimos have a thousand words for snow, Ryan has two thousand for cum. So... <laughs> Like everything, you know, he's got that shit ready to fly. And it's the role it's he was like, born to play. It, it really is, because he looks like a nice guy, but he is nasty. He's so, so fucking oh, he's nasty. The nice is the best, right? The best no, guy is not, not nice. Not, not nice. No, he's bad. <laughs> let's keep playing. Blah, 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 like anyone still buys those glorified f***ing drink coasters. So let's be real, honest trailer guy. I'm way too big of a deal to be slumming it in some played out web series. <sighs> yeah, commenters do say we're not as funny as we used to be. Now, comedians in Was cars getting coffee. A try That's a to show get I Hugh Jackman. Do. Hey, hey, hey! Can I listen to you do the honest names? I love that part. Oh, you gotta honest say pause. Names? Pause. Sorry. Was there talk w- of Hugh Jackman? Was there ever talk of trying to get Hugh Jackman to actually just pop by? Uh, Come on, be honest. I, We're on honest trailer commentaries. I, I don't. I'm trying to think. I don't think so. It wasn't like a schedule or just like no. Because nah, you even know attempt. what? They got to pay them a fuck ton of money if they yeah. just if they show up. And it's whether it's ten seconds or half the movie. Yeah, it's like, like with the yeah, X Mansion matter. scene, like was that on? Was there a? We were gonna do a Professor X thing if we could have decided who. <laughs> which you know, one? Which, which, sitting right yeah, next to which you. professor? <laughs> Just listening yeah. to him. <laughs> we, could, we we had a whole Professor X scene written, and then I was like, "Fuck it, let's just do Colossus eating cereal," uh, <laughs> because because it's cheaper. Because uh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. <laughs> It was a great Colossus. I loved it. You did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Uh, let's write, we'll finish out and we'll ask a couple of cool questions. Go ahead. Uh, the bit you do at the end of your videos that we, uh, quote, borrowed for our opening credits. Well, at least you're admitting it. Let me show you how it's done. Great. Just make it snappy. I have to crank out some Deadpool Reacts videos now that those brothers aren't suing people anymore. That was a, Starring. It's a deep web freak cut the, the streets, time. He was relevant. Freak in the sheets. Yakov Strongoff. Stop. A TJ Miller Pause. Time. Pause. Go back to Yakov Strongoff. Yes. I just want to know origin of Yakov Strongov. Who, uh, whose idea was that? And I how you? Yeah. We had pitched Starring. about ten other ones, streets, and we didn't like any of sheets. them, and we Yakov were exhausted. Strongoff. And I think Andy said, "I don't know, Yakov Strongov," and that—that's the origin. Yeah, you should we, go with like really ma- maybe yeah, Yakov Stroganov or something like that. You know, I, yeah, like Strongov. Oh, that's well, better. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm so sad you didn't like your starring name. That makes me sad. How about a colossally good guy? Oh. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. He is Colossus. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll take Spencer this. would be so nice. Right. Uh, all right. He's much bigger than me. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Keep playing. A TJ Miller type. Yeah. Teenage <laughs> Mutant Negasonic. Stan Lee in between movies. He has a strip club, oh, TJ. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Can I do this one? Sure, it's all yours. And as the fetid testicle wrestler, Van Even Wilder. Oh, that, that went good. <laughs> Ferris Bueller jerks off. Uh, oh, I see it. what you did there. Good one. Wow, all right. Uh, we did job. it. That was Great it. Great job. It. Thank you. Uh, did you want to and you guys anything? should have heard the other alts we had for Stan Lee. I mean, I, I, haven't, I haven't, I've never been to a strip club. Never. <laughs> um, but, you know, <laughs> you know, they introduce the girls, and sometimes what they say is not very nice. And, man, he had some foul shit coming out of Stan, <laughs> coming out of Stan Lee's. Mouth. He's a le- yeah, he's a legend, great. right? He'd he's do a legend. Whatever he wants, right? He I did. actually heard him complain that they didn't shoot that in an actual strip club. Or there we were did. Naked, we there did. were naked women around at the time. There were totally oh, naked okay. women. Yeah. <laughs> was that in his rider? Was that part of the contract? <laughs> yeah. That, that he get to play. He was like, he was right on it, man. Yeah. It was. Imagine we had the, this extra who was sitting in front of this woman. They were totally nude the whole time, sitting here the whole time. And for about the first 10 minutes, I'm like, he's the luckiest guy in the world. But after take 20, in an hour and a half, sitting there, it's like, what do you talk to? Uh, what do you talk about with the stripper? <laughs> Where his head is just sitting so here for school, fuck huh? it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, Rob, you had to be terrible. Uh, happy with how the movie turned out, right? Uh, l- listen, um, I, I, I have a question. The original script, like the 2010, didn't it have all that moody teen and was that not in there? I, th- I thought no, it was in none I, of that. None of that yeah. was in there. That was an, that was an accident. That uh, that opening trailer thing. In fact, the guy. Honest opening. Yeah. What well, about we did it? we did a, we did an animatic <laughs> for the um, for the title sequence before we cast the film. So our animatics guy Frank Balson, who's here tonight, I think. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he, Frank? Where are you? There he Frank. is. Okay. Frank. Frank. Up, just Frank. Put, Frank, Frank. Frank put a bunch of uh, temp titles in there. Moody Teen, The Hot Chick, all that stuff. And then we just thought it was fucking funny. So it was. we kept it. Was really it, yeah. funny. Good work, but the, dude. But the whole sequence going through the van. That, oh, that, that was, was in there. That in the, was in there. But was it, was in the the real, it was the real titles. Okay. It was, okay. Yeah. okay. okay. And then we I had just, to get all no. this fucking lawyer shit to not have the real yeah. titles. And Dude, the Ryan with the ring, the green ring, is laugh out loud funny every time. I mean, I've seen it a hundred times. But yeah. you know it's coming, you know it's... So awesome. Uh, look, it has to look like Green Lantern, but not That's Green right. Lantern. That's right. Oh, I know those tricks. Um, here's the deal. From the minute I read the screenplay, Rhett and Paul's early draft, I, 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 it was such a fresh flavor. It wasn't like anything else anyone else was making. And uh, I mean, honestly, along the way, there was other guys that came in and out as directors, and I would just sit there going, no, say no, say no, <laughs> say no. Um, and glad uh, uh, enough guys said no. That Tim said yes, and uh, <laughs> and, and I was the most desperate director. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, and, and I remember I met I met Tim Tim early on, like 2011, and he is right. He was very kind to me. After he made the animatic, I would routinely every six weeks, hey Tim, can I come down? I mean, it was it, it got to the point where yeah, sit here, Rob, in the theater, see ya. Just play it. We'll talk to you later. Actually, <laughs> Rob introduced me to Gina. He brought Gina down to the studio, not for this role, but for right. for she watched one of his other shitty comic books. And uh, and uh, and she wasn't right for that. And then and then, but I but I really I thought it was great. I really liked her. And so when she's this a came sweetheart. Out, yeah, I she's thought. great. That's a great fight. The Colossus is so. I remember after the test screening, Tim was kind enough to invite me to one of the test screenings. And that's when uh, kind of you knew this thing. They had a hit on their hands. Right. And and I remember going, wow, the edited footage, everything worked so well. But we stood outside, and I remember Tim said, what'd you think? And I literally talked about Colossus for like 10 minutes, because I'm like, the fans have never gotten a Colossus like this. Tim, you have no idea. Yeah, did you know, Stefan? Like- Plus, I prefer not to hit a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but did yeah. you know, could you tell there was a real, something special happening on set? Well, yeah, as much. Well, I came later, though, but, you know, I saw the things. And yeah, when you, yeah. yeah, when you did he, the... We, we tried a couple of voice, different voices for Colossus, and none of them oh, so had any kind to, of... You didn't get to do the voice there no, on the he, moment. You I wish, I yeah. wish yeah. he had. So you saw and you knew immediately, like, oh, my God, this is the best. But he gets to do it on Deadpool 2, so cool. it'll, be, nice. it'll be better. They're putting you on set to do the voice. 
I don't get to do it on Deadpool 2, but he gets, <laughs> he gets to do it on Deadpool 2. Yeah. But you are on the set doing it there now this time? Well, I'm, is that, is well, that new I, to you? You know, I would say so many things, but unfortunately I can't. Yes, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Those Fox Ninjas, they'll get you. Yeah, they will. They, 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 they tell they you it. Can. can't be too honest, right? Oh, dude, there's things I start to tweet, and Tim thinks I'm a bad Twitterer to begin with, but I'll go, uh, recant, think... recant, 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 recant. Like, I just, there's so many that I delete. I'm like, this will get me in trouble. I have to edit all the time, all the time. Well, not, I want to thank you guys. I just want to say, not enough, Rob. <laughs> not, en not enough. Okay, thanks, Tim. I just want to ask you one thing. I have one objection. Yeah. Where is Rob's cameo in your trailer? Yeah, we should have. Who cares? Yeah. I was you so happy to, to be, be like there. Stan Lee I was so happy to be there. My name is all over the movie. Tim was very kind. It's in the bar. It's here. Dude, he hooked me up. I am eternally grateful. And come on, man. This you... movie is fantastic. Well, I'm it grateful is. to you all. Like... And, uh, I know you're saying you're not, you're not doing Deadpool 2, but I know you have some exciting stuff brewing. Yes, you're doing some amazing yes, things next, I'm, which I'm we doing... should all be, yeah, should all be very excited. No, I'm not retiring. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, bummer. I, w I would love to see you continue, but I'm so excited to see what you do next because this was your first big movie. And what? I mean, bravo. Oh, my, sir. my only Sorry. movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank what, you. A, what a knockout out of the park. And uh, you're gonna have, you, I'm sure they came after you with every movie in the world, right? I got a few offers. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you make a hit like that. I did this last night. I did it, and he can't say, but I did this exact same it's thing. Right. It's great. Tell me the 20 movies you turned down. It's an awesome list. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm not going to tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but, can't but, be, yeah, we but I was on Deadpool 2 till almost December, November. Uh, end of November, something like that. So it wasn't like I was jerking off for, <laughs> you know, no, since no then one... I, I, I was developing that and then shit happened. Shit so, happens. Shit happens, yeah. Uh, well, I'm excited again, for- Again, I just want to say to the fans, again, always, there's always these rumors about, I wanted to do a big movie with a big budget and all that. I don't know where the shit gets started from or Kyle Chandler, I never met Kyle Chandler, any of that. <laughs> Any of that shit. I had somebody for cable that would have been great, but it was not Kyle Chandler. But uh, although I love Kyle Chandler because he's a coach, right? Yeah, uh, early so, edition. Yeah, he's good. Actually, we had we had another character in there for a while called Black Swan, and oh. and and Kyle Portman. Mila <laughs> <laughs> Kunis, Andy. Yeah. All right, he's Kunis. a he's an actual he's a German oh, that uh, been mercenary. Good. Yeah. He's German. But I'm um, excited. But anyway, yeah. yeah, I wasn't going to do some shitty big movie. I just wanted the fans to know I wouldn't have betrayed their trust. Yes, all right. Yeah. I didn't shit, go. Yeah. Shit just happened. We'll leave it I at that. I did not. Get, yeah, I wouldn't go off. Thank Hollywood. you for Deadpool, Timmy. Yeah. Right. I mean, how great. He made. He did it. He, that, Come on. I mean, you must have, yeah, to see You it come made alive. a nice, honest trailer for a reason. That's it. Yeah, It agreed. would have been just like this, just with better craft services. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you guys so much for the movie and all your amazing work, and Rob, for the character. Thank you for liking it. Amazing. Round of applause for these three and these guys. We, this was so much fun. Thank you for doing this. That's it. Thanks so much, guys. This episode was presented by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network.